What was that? That was a 5150. I can believe it Sorry, now. it was a 5051. A 5051. Because it's not called a 5150 now, is it? Not lad. Welcome to Anderson's TV. My name's Pete. My name is Joss. And today, we are looking at some really cool thing. We I saw this at NAMM uh, this year, 2017, in January. January. When Tom came up and said, look at this, I've got this new thing, uh, and it's going to be the uh, nuts. And uh, I was like, looking at it, oh, going fine, fine, that looks good, and it looks cool, and it feels nice, and this little thing. And, yeah. But it's like, couldn't hear it. Then, no. You know, now it's always at like, it. yeah. I was, we were just having a quick look at it. Um, and now we got one. Yes. So this is, if you know the atomic amplifier that we've done some videos on before, the 12 and the red one and the black one. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is essentially a similar thing. Everything you know from, from the Studio Devil yep. uh, stuff, uh, sort of, what do you call it? The software, software like, wise, yeah, yeah, software wise, yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah, in yeah. this little box. So the red and it's, one. Look at that. It's like a hand. It's so cool. It's Having very cool. Having all of that inside a little box is, is very, very cool yeah. indeed. I mean, this will fit on your pedal board. You got an XLR out. You got a jack out. You got an input. You can, you can. We watched a, a video of, uh, of Pete Thorne talking yeah. about as well. Go and check that out because that's a really cool video. He takes you through all the features as well. Yeah. But and he's talking about keeping this as a. You can literally, you know, if you're an amp guy. But, you know, if you want something that is just a safety yeah, on safety your pedal net, board, basically, yeah. stick this on the end of your pedal board, yep. give this to your front of house guy in case something goes wrong, you load up some cool amps in here. You've got all the amps from the software, as you can see on my screen now. The sa the, it's really, you know, it's, it's simple. Yeah, super easy to use. Super, and it sounds great. Yeah, sounds I mean, really good. Anyway, you've had this thing home yeah. for a little while, right? So I had it for the weekend and yeah. I managed to um, get together with a friend of mine and record a track um, using just a couple of presets, I think, um, because it's a heavier style of thing, the track we recorded. So we used um, the Friedman BE, uh, the HBE, yeah. um, uh, which is like a slightly higher gain uh, Friedman. Yeah. Um, but then we, uh, we took the boost off so it's like a really tight, nice, crunchy drive. Yeah. And then when it came to guitar solos, we had reverb, delay, and the boost function all available in the one box. So, right here. Right there. I mean, it's really cool. So if you look at the screen I've got up here now, uh, basically what you've got is you've got your Plexi Brit 800 Hot Brit. Mm. You've got your D Lux, you've got your 59 Basement, US Clean, Top Boost, Rumble Mark 5, 4, le four Lead, and EQ, Rumble. Anyway, it's got loads here, you can see. And then it's got some power sections as well. Uh, down in the end and as you can see on the top here was this amplifier box you got all your uh above that it says bass middle treble presence so you got all your your normal yeah sort of things and if i'm turning that you can see changes in real it time changes in real time so that's also very cool now you got uh on your just take through all this stuff yeah stuff just really to go quick through all just of go it through beforehand, it before yeah. we, we listen so your little switch you've got three little switches here on your left and essentially you've got you've got nine presets yep. built in here, right? Uh, you can either have, switch this off by holding it down. So you can either have it on or off. So just bypass order on. Yeah, and then you've got your boost over here, which you can also, as you can see, pops up on the screen. Yep. As I'm clicking it, you can select the boost. So you can assign, when you go to foot pedals at the top, you can actually assign yeah. what you want to come on when you hit the boost function. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the boost. It can be just your delay, or you can turn on your reverb and delay, or your boost reverb and delay. Now so. I, can, I can switch between two, as you can see here. Yeah. You know, so you can, or you can have that on, and it can switch between that in assigned, not assigned. Um, you know, so you've got a lot of functionalities. Yep. It saves it as it goes along in here. Um, on the style side, if you go back, to, if we go back to the amps here. So if we leave these two down first, I'll just go back to this really yep. quick. It's it's either um, out of the XLR, which we're coming out. You're hearing, or it's the um, the, the so the cap just, comes out. Of, yeah, the of standard that, jack. Or yeah. I would assume in the middle, both. It is right. both. Yeah. So let's leave them 
let's just go here because we yeah, just Yeah, we're not using that. the out for the jack. Yeah, so. so you could potentially run this one into something else. So the way that it was explained to me, which was really cool, was that if you have it in the middle and you've got a jack that's going into a power amp on stage or your effects return on your amplifier, um, or any sort of power amp going into a cab, you have your on stage sound, which is coming out of this. Yeah. So whatever the front of house is hearing coming out of the core inch jack, yeah. I mean the XLR, sorry, yeah. you're hearing on stage as well. So you're not in one of those situations where you just have a digital preamp thing that's going into the um, going into the desk and you don't get any sort of vibe yeah. on stage. So you can have so, the FIFR exactly the atomic also. So you can split out both ends <clears throat> yeah. and you know. Oh, oh, oh. I say. So that's really cool. So you can do that, or, or just leave it off, and not coming out. So only come yeah, out exactly. one, go into your amp with the other one, and have the effects off here. So you can use that as the just the effects, exactly. take the amps off, whatever. That's really really clever. So. You've got nine presets, so it basically works in the way that you go preset one, preset two. You can see it changes along as I'm flicking it up, so here's the amps. And then you can go, then you go second, and then you get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. So it's easy to navigate. And you can mix mix and match here. So you can see it changes over and it'll, it'll, yep. it'll match the caps up. So you can, this is the cool thing. You can also use this as an impulse response loader. Which is and very cool. Nothing else. So yeah. if, if I mean this thing is about two hundred and ninety nine, right? Yeah. So just if you want to buy like an impulse response response loader, yeah. it co can cost much more than that. A lot more, yeah. You know. And yeah. this has got everything else built into it as well. It's got reverb, it's got delays now after the new update, as you can see. Yeah. Um and you've got all of these different amps. Boom. You got, you know. And you can load all your. You can load your own, own cabs in there. Exactly, and, and use choose. this. It's not a load box. No, Let's it's just not. Say you that can't so you... put your amplifier head into this and then go yeah. into a cab. You but you can that. have a head yeah. into a load box yeah. into this, and then you've got a studio set up. Yeah. Quiet recording at home at eleven o'clock while the kids are asleep and the neighbors are having dinner. Fun. Fun. You know, so that's really cool. Anyway, so we just quickly have a listen to to what some of this sounds like so you heard in the beginning you heard the 51 the 50 51 the 50 51 <laughs> so what we wanted to do is the cool thing about it is that we didn't want to um we wanted to be able to show you the capabilities of the pedal by um i'm holding this schecter banshee elite right here um and i wanted to be able to show you the chunkier stuff and what it's like when you put you know the boost function on and do a little bit of sweating um, but the cool thing is I'm going to take the laptop and then Pete's going to grab a strat and I'm going to show you what say some, some of the tones. deluxe amps and the top yeah. boost amps can yeah. sound like you know but let's just have a look and see what you got here so let's go into let me just put on that's a Friedman B yeah and as you can see when I turn this stuff it all sort of goes on and the cabinet should now be a Friedman HBE <laughs> I mean, it's great. We were just listening to a little Yamaha speaker down here in the yeah. front, uh, but it, it does it still really, sounds, it really sounds cool. good and it reacts. Yeah. Yeah, it, there's, there's. No, I mean, as you would assume, there's no latency no. whatsoever. That's you great. can play all the fast notes and you feel it. It feels good. <laughs> it's very, very cool, isn't it? Yeah, man. I mean, it is cool. As you see, I'm going to the boost section. And you can choose between clean boost, fast distortion, overdrive, or screamer um, in the compressor section. So you have to scroll down here, uh, studio or pedal. I mean, you've got a built-in noise gate. you got your amp. You where you can scroll down here. You can, of course, on the top here, you you got your controls, bass, mid, treble, and presence. Yep. And then you got a dampening and a level on there. You got a whole EQ section that you can sort of set in post pre. You can have a pyramid one, two, and three, set it up. Uh, you got echo, which is this eco. Eco. Oh, like eco mode. What's oh, eco friendly mode. Oh, it's huh? eco friendly mode. So it turns off after 10 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you have a little bit of delay in the solar, it turns off, so yep. off automatically. And then in there, again, you've got your digital analog tape, dark tape, or soft delay. I'll tell you really what's cool. really cool about the delays is that you can um, assign it to have the trail still moving on and off. So if the delay is on. There you go, trail. So for instance. So, so. it trails spill over. Is it on. Delay on? You have to. 
Oh, so you there's the delay. Tap. So here's the delay. So as you can hear it. So if I press it and then push the pedal down. So you turned it off. Oh, we haven't turned it off. No, because it's not assigned to that switch. Oh, okay. So let me let me turn it off here. Yeah. So you're gone. So if I. Oh, actually, let me assign that to the switch, right? So let me assign that to the switch. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah. So it spills over, which is a very, very cool thing. Yeah. So it keeps the vibe because some pedals you just go. And then the delay's gone. You know? <laughs> Speed lock is very important. Yeah. It's very, very cool. Uh, and that was really easy to do that, as yes. you just saw. Yeah. Super, super simple. Um, let's take some more like rocky tones. Let's go yeah. back to the amps and let me take up, for instance, a. Um, what do you think? Cornfield? Yeah, see what that's like. So that's a cornfield. It's now sending all the information into the box. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Nice. Sounds wicked. Yeah, it's yeah, nice, man. Sounds really, really I mean, cool. it's so, so simple to, to control. Right, so let's just find, because now you've got that sector, let's find a sort of a heavy, heavier tone okay. to do some chalking so we can go from one sort of extreme to the other. Yeah, so. So, what amp is this? Slow. Oh, this, so this is like maybe a, a soldano. soldano? Slow down. Slow down, though. Slow down, though. <laughs> I mean, from. That's from it. That's great, just from there. Yeah, just loading up the patch straight <coughs> yeah. away. So load up the patch. Take the reverb up. You can do it with upper clearing. Uh, take the boost off. And here, this is the clean. This is just the Soldano, is it? And I'm I'm just gonna take the compressor off as well. Okay, so. So you can you can now chuck away. What do you do? Fully bass and full mid and um, down with the mid and treble? Well, I like everything. I just like everything at 12 o'clock. Everything at 12 o'clock, add a little bit of boost and then it's like... You know, everything at 12 o'clock, if you can get stuff that sounds good with everything is at 12 o'clock, you're onto a winner. Yeah, I think so. Let's have it! <laughs> You need, you need one of those on here, right? Oh yeah, because you can Try again, hear. try again. <laughs> yeah! Hey. I'm going to have to carry on a Somebody human Somebody needs just one of those things. Yeah, human, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to walk around and just shredding <laughs> just, it yeah. So let's put a boost on. Yeah, if you put a boost and maybe like... A screamer or clean or... Well, if we use like a tube screamer. Yeah, so we've got a tube screamer So like here. a classic thing and then a bit of delay. Bit of delay. Bit of delay. There we go. Can we, cause we, is it assigned to the foot switch? Uh, it is, yeah it is, yeah. Because if you, there you go. Okay. okay. A bit of reverb on the end. Oh yeah, a little yeah, bit of a yeah. reverb trail going on there as well. Yeah. I mean, it's just great, man. It's, it's really, really cool. Sounds cool. And I, I think the, the cool feature is that uh, the cool thing about it is that it's got all these features that you can use in, in a live environment, in a you know in a studio environment, in you know you used it to record some yeah, stuff. Yeah, used to record a track. Just this into here, straight into your door, mm -hmm. and then just figure, fiddle around with it. You know, it, USB into your laptop, as you can see, really really simple. Yeah. Outlay here great tones i mean it's definitely a, it's, it's a for me i mean i use the kemper a lot that's, yeah. that's my thing you know i yeah. use the kemper um and but this is just great i mean i mean if you're just having it in a back, backpack yeah. your laptop 
Well, the thing guitar. was, that's what I said to my mate Frank. That's I had my guitar, one, and my guitar, I had this, I had a set of strings, I had my, my string changing kit, because I'm a Floyd Rose user. Um, I had my string changing <laughs> kit. Um, I had all of the stuff, yeah. and then I put it on my back, and I was like, oh. Have I forgotten? I have, I, I, pardon? <laughs> have I forgotten something? Have I forgotten something? Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. I could go play a gig now, yeah. and I have everything yeah. I need. But let's get Queefer Sutherland on it and let's grab a strat. What? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now I am in command of the uh, of the ship. Yeah, you're in command of the ship and I've got this uh, strat now and it's tuned down to E flat. E flat. So let's go, I'll tell you what, let's go straight for... Let's go Eskimo. Let's go Eskimo. Let's go straight for something What's like... Oh, I remember when I played that. Oh, God. Oh, so let's just have a... What, what amp are we on there, then? So the amplifier of choice is a 59 Bassman mm. right now. Uh, there's... N the only thing that's on there is a reverb, to be honest. Oh, really? Okay, um, let's have a quick listen. Like that. I can also control it from here. Yeah. So I can put a little bit more gain in there. Yeah. And a little bit more reverb and then see what happens. Nice playing in the flat. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's like I a bet. Bit. It's early in the morning. It's so, it's so bendy. It's so bendy. But at the same time, um, that is obviously just um, the clean amp with a little bit of gain. Yeah. Driven. Put so a like scream on there. I was going to say, like, if I scream put... On. Put a scream on, see what happens. Here it is. Check this out, there's also this. These are foot switch uh, signable to the yeah. boost con control, right? Which, if I just show you on here, if you go to foot switches yeah. at the top, hey then, foot switches, hey foot switches, what's up foot switches? They're all empty right now, but as Pete said, um, they're all completely assignable, so you can actually dictate. You, for instance, you could highlight every single one of those, press that boost button, and they would all come on. Yeah. So let's try a different amplifier. Yeah. So that's fifty nine bass. Another uh, clean thing. Yeah. Let's go for the deluxe. Yeah. Deluxe. Deluxe. So, Deluxe. So oh, let me just turn. Oh yeah, yeah, let me just turn that stuff off. So that's off. It's like wonderful tonight.
So there's there's <laughs> there's so much That's to nice. choose from. There's so I mean, much to through. choose from. We are going to do some more videos more in depth. I mean, yes. this is just to have this is the first look of it. And what we're going to do is you've, you've probably seen some of the uh, other videos we've done. Yeah. Where the atomic amplifier did you know different styles yeah, in of music. The style of, yeah. yeah, we'll do the same thing. We'll we'll do a little video where we go sort of through. Uh, you know, more in depth kind of thing. It's pretty yeah. been pretty in depth so far, right? But yeah, we I mean, we've gone a lot more in depth than we actually wanted to, I think. But you can't help it when there's so much choice. And it sounds good from when you just click something. I yeah, mean, exactly. you know, you just choose an amp and it sounds like this. That's the one. That was a quick look of yep. the amp atomic amplifier box. Amplifier box. Amplifier. Amp box. Amplifier. Amplifier box. I think that's a pitbull song, isn't it? <laughs> hey, I'm a fire box. I'm a fire box. Quavo, hola. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it then. The amplifier um, box. Yeah, there. the amplifier box. <laughs> purchase on our new website if you want to buy it it's about 2.99 because i love you all and i want you all to know this my name is joss and this is pete and all right danish pete Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.